What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. Let's figure up here as I'm recording it. It is Monday, Memorial Day. Hope you all have a great Memorial Day. Oh God, there's a bee right there. A bee just went in my hand. I'm like, oh my goodness, a bee. So it kind of freaked me out. But anyway, we guys all having a great Memorial Day weekend out there. Thank you all the armed service men and women out there to serve our country. Thank you all out there so much for giving us our freedoms and things like that and sacrifices you all do. But anyway, start off the day going to TC Rockets. It's kind of a little random video. Kind of just hit them a few things around town because uh, what the heck, why not? But TC Rockets got some retro toys and from there, who knows what? But it's fun like that. TC Rockets, all kinds of you know, get the retro toy goodness. I've been there in a minute, so uh, let's go check it out and see if they have any new goods because it's kind of fun. And as we go in, is there's a gigantic uh, ET right up here. How much is this thing going for? I can't. 500 bucks, $500 uh, for ET. Looks like ET needs like a little push up bra right there. But to get ET going on, phone home with the strange finger. I don't know, but yeah, very weird. This is pretty cool. Look at this dude for almost $1,000, 125 bucks. You have this uh, good guys up here. I believe from a yeah, trick or treat studios. I could be wrong. I don't know, but look at this. Look at the price before. It was a hundred dollars before for this. Dang, I got that for a deal. What am I getting that for a, a Playland toy? I've never heard of that. Dude, for a hundred bucks? Are you serious? Now it's 925. Dang, whoever got that before, shoot, deal. But that's crazy. And you got this uh, little zapper gun and things like that. And the, uh, you know, from the Mandalorian, the um, baby Yoda. And some stuff up there, but that, that is cool. But this is rad right here. I think I showed this before the video thing. That is just cool. Yeah, very cool section over there. All kinds of goods, some G.I. Joe's and things like that. Up here, I guess we go all the Funko goodness. If you're a fan of Funkos, oh, you're in San Diego's the spot to be. They have a lot of Funkos here. And is this one like, is this like autograph or something? I don't know if it's, it's probably a fake autograph. I don't know, probably is a fake autograph, but interesting all these like little funko goodness and yeah, let's go back over here um but, but, but some, like, some like little retro toys and stuff around county this these these little areas too this is all like newer stuff though but it's still kind of fun to kind of walk around kill some time go in here check out some goodness of the toy goodness but so far nothing much like in these little sections i do remember this thing as a kid like this little thing I do remember these. I forget what this is even called. Weagle, Weeble Wobbles, or we Wiggle Wobbles, or something like that. Weeble Wobbles. These little things, almost like little eggs, and kind of they Weeble Wobble, right? <laughs> Look at this thing. That's kind of cool. It looks like something I know of, but I don't know what it is. But it looks like something very familiar. This is kind of cool. We've got the Turtles in Time from the old arcade game. It's got these kind of like, like, like sort of a big graphic kind of look to it in a way. Those are kind of cool. The Shredder one, that is kind of cool. Good old Michelangelo. He has one for like Leonardo too. That is kind of neat. Though. I haven't seen these. Those are kind of cool. And then up here we have a bunch of He-Man figures in these neat collectible cases. But 400 bucks a pop and they're open out of the package. Wow. They go for a pricey bit, but I do like the display case, but that is crazy. This She-Ra, Princess of Power, Magnificent Crystal Unicorn. Look at the sparkly goodness. That's kind of neat for uh, She-Ra fanatics out there. There you go. In package still. Grizzlar. Is that the hairy one? It's like this hairy He-Man bad guy, I believe. And a lot more figures in the package. That was a rad. Very cool. And next to that, we have some Transformers. Dinosaurs. We used to have that. Brontosaurus one. I don't have it now, but I wish I still had it. It goes for like 300 bucks. Wow. And over here, I got this Holiday Optimus Prime Transformer. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's 70 bucks. Cool. But if it was Christmas time, I probably will be inclined to buy this and put it on display or something like that. That is, that is pretty uh, funny right there. I, I dig it. Dig that. Very festive Transformer. I got some comics they got up in here. But that's some more uh, newer Transformers. This Hercules line, I have no idea. I haven't followed that stuff in a while. I know it's retro Transformers, but they're still kind of neat to check out. Very boss. And up here we got some Thundercats, Thundercats. And we got some Silverhawks right there. I used to love those as a kid. Good old Silverhawks. I think the one I used to have was the Quicksilver one. And up here, some Mask, Mask, Mask Crusaders. Let me some Mask 
because they have that one as a kid, a little sports car one. But yeah, Mask is great. Venom's Revenge, dude. And up here's some more Mask of this one in like this case that is rad looking. Well, a little pricey. Look at those ones in the box. You got 140 for the Stinger. That's kind of cool. So I'm gonna open that up and just kind of mess with it. I love that. Memories, let me some Mask. Are you guys Mask fanatics out there back in the day? Mask was great. I just left TC Rockets. I didn't get anything in there. It was still pretty cool looking there. Just check out some of the cool nostalgia retro toys. Always a fun time in that shop. Always have something new in there to uh, check out. But now let's go to somewhere else. All right, the next spot going here over here at uh, Converse Thrift Stores for the heck of it. Check it out because I haven't been there in a little minute. And if I'm, by the time I think I went there, it was like maybe a couple months back or something like that around there. I found, a, I think, a City Slickers plastic cup. That's where I found a Ch Chuck E. Cheese ashtray at months back. Like, like last year, I found it over there. But let's go in there and maybe get some new stuff. So tonight's the Game 7 of the Celtics. They were, they're fought back from being 0-3. They had the chance to become the first NBA team in history to come back from 0-3 deficit in the, fin in the conference finals and pretty much any, any of those series and stuff like that to win it and go to the championship games. So that is so cool. Definitely fired up with that. Last game was nuts. With Game 6, it was like last second buzzer beater to win it it was absolutely insane with the celtics but i can't wait to check that out i think it's kicks off about like an hour or so from now when i'm recording this right now so i'm gonna definitely watch that in a little while i can't wait i'm actually kind of surprised it's open because a lot of stuff is closed today for memorial day so that is kind of cool it's it is open so let's go inside here and then here we go up here we got some tapes going on my seal tapes like right up here nothing that crazy but like red water some little shark Rip off movie, but uh, it's all sealed up, so that's kind of cool. Check out the eBay like reselling, it's only goes for like five bucks, but it's kind of neat to see some sealed tape action. And then up here, some other like random stuff like this to get some of the uh, Tai Chi and Chi Kong Grandmaster Tai Chi. You got the Grand Dennis Kelly, he's the Grandmaster. This looks like some good uh, cringe foundation volume one. From 99 oh yes now over here on these uh, shelves i got some random stuff here it's actually where i found the chuck e cheese ashtray at from like the early 80s almost like new for like 75 cents it was crazy so i'm on the lookout for some stuff like that here national freshwater fishing hall of fame i think i'll pass on that look at this thing the rainforest cafe for four bucks is that a restaurant still around i think it's gone i don't know this is, uh, I got all the locations of these. This is from 2004. I don't think I've ever been to this before, but I've heard of it. But yeah, do you remember this place? I don't know about it. Right here, I see this Universal Studios Hollywood cup. Looks like something from Halloween time because of the colors, but it's kind of beat up looking. I'll pass on it, but kind of neat. Right up here, we have some Clifford's Christmas. Remember these books, getting these at book fairs as a kid? You guys remember these things? It's got this, this belonged to a guy named Sean as a back in the day. But here's just from 1984. Wow, that is awesome. If it's a holiday time, I would totally uh, pick this up since it's so far off. I will pass. Look at this Scholastic books. That's great. And we get some Star Trek books for you Trekkies out there. Those are kind of interesting and kind of funny. Some of these can be worth some cash. The horror ones can be worth some cash. These ones I don't think are. I'll check them out. This one's called Family. Very boring. I will pass on Family. Yes, that looks kind of like whatever. And more books. This one's The Last Starfighter. That's kind of cool. Like a novel based on the movie. Wasn't that movie directed by Nick Castle? Or was it John Carpenter? I think it was Nick Castle. I could be could be wrong, but that's kind of you dropped it. But yeah, kind of cool. Just leaving the thrift shop. I didn't get anything in there. I almost picked up that Last Starfighter old school novel right there. I looked on eBay. I think the last one sold for like five bucks, only a dollar. It was kind of cool to get. If it was like you know if something I really really wanted to have for a display thing, I would get it. But I always look at my spot first, and I'll get some stuff like that. But still kind of cool. If it was sold for a bunch on eBay, I probably just got it and sold it on my eBay. What the heck, you know? But. Kind of cool, those old books. And that, not a whole lot in there. Just some little odds and ends and things like that. But hey, it's always gonna check out because you never know. Boom, you can see right now it is um, the next day. I'm dressed differently and things like that because uh, last night after I was done with the thrift store, I went to go watch the Celtics game. They would win a, that game seven right there. They totally failed miserably. Uh, totally failed. It was just like, what? Yeah, the game was just so bad. I mean, Jason Tatum got hurt the very first play of the game, twisted up his ankle. And Jalen Brown couldn't even like get a shot off. He was like fumbling the ball everywhere. It was so bad. It got destroyed. The Celtics. I was like, no, <laughs> they got they got destroyed. I was hoping they would win. They got the big comeback. You know, in NBA, the first one team to do it. Go down 0-3. They tied it up. Go 3-3-3. Lost it. It was just embarrassing. So after that, I was kind of like, just not the mood to record anything. So kind of like you know, continuing the video today. What the heck? Right now, I'm at a thrift shop. Let's go in there and perk up our happiness. 
looking for some hopefully some VHSs and other things. Here we go, this spot right over here. I've been here in a while. I did find a few good things here a long back in the day, but let's go in there now and uh, check it out. Now. There you go, let's see what they got going on. Here we go by the CDs, nothing much there, and the movies are over here. I don't see much VHS, but most is DVD, some blues, a little bit sprinkled in there. Maybe find out a print title, I doubt it, but let's go see if I can. What is that? I have no idea. I think it's in Spanish, I think I'll pass. And so what's going on this side over there. I remember this movie, uh, Feast. I remember the, uh, the making of this thing on the a &E. I remember this movie. I think it was pretty good back in the day, like 10 years ago, probably more. I mean, they had a cool special of making of that. And I remember seeing this a lot of uh, rental shops back in the day too, as uh, Boogie uh, Men about uh, about horror movies and characters, like the, the villains and stuff. It's pretty cool, like documentary type compilation thing. Kind of fun. But, uh, you know, kind of a neat deal of that. Not much. Leaving this section now, let's go over there. And over here by the board games and toys. I mean, you never know, maybe, maybe they have some old school board games, but so far it looks like it's all newer stuff and uh, junk I do not want. So, yes, but hey, it's worth checking out, you know, for the heck of it. You never know. And see what's in these bags of uh, toys. Maybe they get some retro toys. Looks like all newer stuff. And like odd Happy Meal toys, like newer ones that nobody really wants, and that's why they're in these bags, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, just left that thrift shop, and that was a bust. Nothing in there, but hey, it's worth trying. Got some horror DVDs, nothing valuable, but that's some stuff in there, so someone definitely uh, get rid of their collection or whatever, and they're best off. Maybe, maybe hit up another thrift shop, and after that, maybe hit up Best Buy, see what came out today for the hell of it. So we're going to Salvation Army. Uh, let's go see what's in there. Probably nothing, but, you know, let's go see anyway. It's across the street, so what the heck, why not? This uh, part of the store sucks because I'm like boring clothes in there. So there's like two Salvation Armies. You get this one, which I believe has, I don't know, maybe movies and stuff in there and maybe games or whatever. So there's like two separate Salvation Army stores within one. Very odd. Here's the movie section. Pretty big, actually. There's a bunch of uh, different shelves of DVDs and Blu-rays, a couple tapes mixed in throughout. But uh, let's go check out these tapes. The tapes are just really boring, basic stuff. Nobody really wants. That's why they're here. <laughs> but let's go check out the DVDs. Maybe I'll find something cool. You never know. There's a lonely tape right there. The poor lonely tape without no sleeve. Look at this one. Three Musketeers. I don't know if I've ever seen this. I think I know. I think I've ever seen that back in the day. It, looks, it sounds sort of familiar. Of course, you get some Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Some of uh, the old Walt Disney DVDs. And what else we got going on? Some more uh, you know, Blu-ray Diamond Edition of Beauty and the Beast. Those aren't really worth as much anymore. These would be kind of a little bit more worth back in the day, but not much anymore. They got Silent Night, about, I don't know, maybe Christmas type thing? Maybe, I don't know. And what's over here? Looks like uh, but, but, but mostly common sort of stuff. Nothing major I need to get up on. But this is pretty cool. American Pimp. This is about a pimp documentary. I remember seeing this on a TV quite a few times. It's pretty cool about uh, the Dom Magic Wand and uh, Pimps and how they came about. Uh, pretty neat documentary. And before I head out, there's more movies over here in these shopping carts to see some people at. There's even a shopping cart full of VHSs. What? Let's go search in this for sure. There's an old tape, that's a good sign. CBS Fox tape called SOB, never heard of that? Interesting. Let me go dig through here and I'll see what I can find. Maybe a horror one, I'm hoping. I just left the Salvation Army. Uh, I didn't find anything in there. I found some you know, tapes. It was kind of cool digging through tapes. I was out in a while. A bunch of movies in those carts. But there's other people over there like hovering over the movies. It was pretty much just common stuff. There might have been a couple things there, but it's just so many people over that area to kind of dig through. But I threw the VHSs uh, thoroughly. Not that much VHSs. I was like, yeah, my, it was kind of cool to look through there, though, like I said. You never know what you might find. But other than that, nothing much. So let's go to Best Buy now, which is right down the street. Let's see what they get going on over there for this uh, DVD Blu ray 4K Tuesday. All right, next up here at Best Buy. It is a uh, windy, cold day. Let's go on there and see what kind of movies they got or lack thereof. Let's do it. Movie section by the front of the store. I only see this one area for movies so far. I'm gonna check the back a little bit later though. There's a lot of Star Last Starfighter. That's funny because I seen that book yesterday, the novel, graphic novel on the movie right there. That is, how ironic is that? that that's hilarious. And you get the People Under the Stairs 4K edition. That probably looks really nice and crispy in 4K. Did you guys get that one? Did you guys get up on that? Love that movie. Good stuff. You got Adaptation. That's pretty cool. Always like that weird kind of movie with uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, it's good, good, odd stuff. Him and him in that one. Uh, definitely uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, one of his finest roles. Get some a Carrie Steele book. That's kind of neat. 
on a 4K. Got Back to Future on Blu-ray. Just randomly like right there for $23.99. Save 16 bucks. Not bad right there. This is a guy that's like, this. why is that there? I don't know, but it's just place in the middle of all these 4Ks. This Blu-ray. Weird. Other than that, though, I'm not sure we'd see coming out today. I, I really don't know. Looks like it's all like older stuff in here that's already came out, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm sure there's some newer stuff that came out today, but to me, it looks like it's all stuff that's already been out. I don't know. And we went back here from the front area. There's some other movies. We got movies over that way, but no movies over there anymore. There's those video games up here. As long as they have just that front of the little wall of movies, that's pretty much it. Oh, man. Bam, just like that, left. Good old Best Buy. And of course, I didn't get anything in there. It wasn't much really to get. You know, it was just like a little small wall of movies. I was going to go to Walmart over there, but I had to like walk all the way that way. I was like, yeah, I'm cool. So it's pretty much just it for this video. So pretty much two, two days to make this video. Uh, to make the most epic video ever not, not really but it's two days to make this little mashup video and i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment below over to my channel make sure to subscribe of course all that good stuff right there make sure to check out my ebay page too get some things on there I'm trying to get rid of trying to sell trying to hustle up on i still gotta put some more stuff on there i've been lagging on that but i will eventually do that this week i'll put some more new stuff on that ebay page so you guys can check it out sift through it online and see what i have going on on there and things like that but yeah, it's kind of a little random hodgepodge video matching things up and things like that i'm good now from the celtics loss that was uh, really embarrassing but i'm good now and things like that now time for me to go out there make some cash and uh eat some good food have a good time like that i'll catch you guys later next one i'll see you then and bye